Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about quad racers and uh, what's all on a, a typical racer. Uh, the first thing you got to get, of course, is the frame. And the frames come in various sizes. They can start from 180, they even have a mini size, a smaller one. Uh, go all the way up to 300 millimeters. Uh, 250 to uh, 30 is about the most popular size. Uh, some of them come, some of them are manufactured with a uh, high quality plastic, which is very durable. Uh, some have foam integrated in it, which uh, helps the durability. But probably the ones that can sus uh, sustain the most in hits and you know crashes is the carbon fiber frames like this one, and uh, probably your best bet uh, if you're looking to get into this. Uh, the next thing that catches your eyes, of course, are the motors. You're gonna need four motors. Um, they all will be the same size. Uh, they're generally made racing motors. They're, they're rather quick and uh, powerful. Uh, then you have ESCs which go on to uh, all the motors which control that. Uh, inside we have a flight controller which connects to all the ESCs. Basically has a, a gyro in it and it uh, stabilizes and can be programmed for a number of different uh, uses on it, you know, uh, different features that you can add to these things and the amount of stability that you want. Underneath that you have a board down here uh, that allows you to connect all of this stuff. It's basically a power board that allows all of the stuff to be connected together. <clears throat> From there, you're going to have to add your own receiver for the particular brand of uh, radio that you're flying. Uh, then we get into the FPV uh, equipment on it. Uh, where first thing we're going to have up front is your camera. It's going to be a small mini camera here uh, that allows you to see through goggles so that while you're flying, you actually got a first person view, which is right out of this camera. Uh, what transmits that back is this video transmitter back here, and you can see the antenna. The transmitter is actually on the inside here, and it has various channels that you can adjust to so that uh, not everybody's on the same frequency so that you only see your video. And then, of course, you're going to have to buy uh, different types of antennas. And people, you know, uh, they, they, they could spend a lot of money on these antennas. Uh, different people like different antennas, so uh, you just want to experiment and find the ones that, uh, that you want. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a, a good battery, uh, and most of the time it's four and three cell batteries that you're going to buy, uh, which a lot of times go on the top or on the bottom, somewhere in the center, uh, to balance it out. Uh, these will give you the, the powerful flights. And the last thing, of course, is the props here, and uh, props come in various uh, styles. Um, they also come in three and four bladed, which are real popular right now. Uh, try to get, when you first start out, try to get the most durable ones you can because probably the number one thing you're going to break on these racers are the props. So uh, that's just a quick overview as to what's on an FPV racer.